you're here is because you already know the chalk boys, you already know our music. Yeah, but people out there don't. They should, they, they should come because, they should come. because our music is fantastic. Because we're committed to very passionate organizations. Coco Bar Chapter City have come together to organize a once in a lifetime concert of amazing music, of an amazing story, which is the MI2 story in the movie. And it's gonna be a lot of a lot of you know <clears throat> footage and videos and stuff people have never seen. There's footage from like the like animations from the movie that that's the first time ever gonna be shown. You know, it's really gonna be an incredible show. I'm, I'm a fan of the show, I'm gonna be performing too. But I'm a fan of the show, of what I've seen, and it's, go it's gonna be something. And come out just because, like, Nigerian entertainment is on the rise, and whenever we support our own, like, I was here for a basketball show, you know, come out just to support. Like, even if you don't know Trump more music, come out to support, come out and have, if you're not doing anything on Thursday night, come out, you know what I mean? You will have fun, it will be worth it. I promise you, I guarantee. Okay. One last question for One last me. question. That's, that's it for me. Yeah. Um, Jude, sorry, am I? You, you mentioned something about you being on um, Tim Westwood's show. Yeah. Now, one thing I notice about a lot of Nigerian artists is the intellectual property and the copyright. Now, what sort of plans do you as an organ... Well, probably, you probably might be able to answer that, Katrin. What sort of plans do you have to kind of protect the interest of you as an artist? Because going on someone like Radio 1, and, go, and being on Choice FM, for instance, your, your music is going to be played on a regular basis and you need to get some sort of royalties back to make sure that it's worth your while. What sort of plans do you have in place to kind of protect that, to make sure that happens from your you know, perspective? Yeah, the reality of the situation, um, I, 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 I watch like Cadillac Records and those movies about how music was being stolen from you know, the black artists in, you know, when the American industry started. You know, um, it's, 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 it's not the best situation it could be right now. Um, and that's and a lot of problems in Africa, in Nigeria, with how intellectual property is viewed, you know. Um, I think what's important right now is for people to, sh to show first that they're capable of being good entertainers, that we do have content. So not to forget what you're saying, what you've said is very, very important, but a lot of what you see right now, when you see the two faces and the bunches and we go places sometimes we're not treated as you know as we should or we're not paid when we should be paid or you know people are trying to shorthand us the focus i think of the nigerian industry right now is let's show the world that we're worth something and i, I feel like when when that is achieved then a lot of the other things will fall into place however there's a lot of fantastic people young nigerians that are making sure that you know, where the, the team that's getting to get on Team Westwood is not the easiest thing, and it's a fantastic team of people yeah. that are helping us. And um, Trouble Speed is definitely like a front runner in that. They're incredible guys. The CEO is a lawyer, former lawyer, you know, very intelligent guys, and, and they're watching our backs, you know, 100% of the time. So, but it's going to get better, definitely. I mean, if you, I can, I, I'm, I'm doing it for my career, you know, but a lot of Nigerian artists that you ask, or a lot of maybe the UK artists that are here in the crowd, you know, might not have ever gotten royalties or anything like that or you know um, but I think we'll get there we'll, we will get the respect as long as we continue to churn out good you know innovative music okay. on that note last, last question one more question how did you go to Westwood um, a very innovative <laughs> uh, fiery young Nigerian person who hooked it up I don't know if I didn't want me to say that anymore, yeah, but I mean, again, as I said, this is the whole team, man. People working to make sure that we maximize the opportunity while we're here. Because in another month or so, it's going to be another artist turn. Um, they're going to come out and they're going to, I mean, probably walk us all the steps. We're walking, I think, what was the first show that you did? Um, the band. I mean, I, I, I didn't come for that, but I wanted to come and just watch. But it's, you know, it's, it's a journey, you know, we're, yeah. we're going there. so. Um, there's a lot of, I mean, everywhere. I mean, even just you guys came out here and waited for us, which I apologize again for and appreciate. You know, it's it's all part of our journey of going where we need to get as a, to be respected as an international force in you know entertainment industry worldwide. Okay, thank you. On that note, um, I'd like to thank. All